All right, welcome to section five. So now that we've seen how we can combine the Fibonacci retracement tool with support resistance levels and trend lines to create a simple but amazing strategy, we're also going to add in what we've learned about Japanese candlestick patterns. If we can identify exhaustive candlesticks on these pullbacks, then that's going to let us know when buying or selling pressure is exhausted and it can give us a clue of when price may continue trending. So let's look at this example. You can see that this has been in a downtrend for a while and right now it's kind of pausing. It's not really trending down anymore at this point. So we want to find when is going to be a good chance to get in on this downtrend to place a sell. So you know what to do. We took out the Fibonacci retracement tool. We plotted from the swing high up here down to the swing low down here and it gave us the Fibonacci retracement levels. You can see here that the market continued kind of going up against the trend. So we're looking for an opportunity to get into a sell to continue with the trend down. And you can see right here, we have a shooting star right on the Fibonacci level. In fact, it closed out here on the 38.2% level and the wick even got up here to the 50% level. And what does the shooting star tell us? Well, with this long wick, it tells us that buyers were pushing the price up, 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 but sellers were able to push the price all the way back down close to where price was opened. So with the confirmation of this Fibonacci retracement level and this shooting star, you could decide here to place a sell trade or to go short. And if you had done that, what would have happened? Boom, you would have caught a lot of pips. So I really like this extra confirmation of a Japanese candlestick pattern if it happens to form on the Fibonacci level or on a support and resistance zone as well, because sometimes with these support and resistance zones, you're not sure if price is going to continue up here and go to the 50% Fibonacci level, or if in fact it's stalling at the 38.2 and is the right time to get in. So it's nice having this extra confirmation of a Japanese candlestick pattern to let us know that price is probably going to reverse at this point. So as you can see, you have multiple confirmations or indicators that you can use to start manually trading, identifying these patterns, identifying trends, knowing when you can get in on these pullbacks and these trends, knowing when a reversal might occur. So I hope you can see how this is all coming together, everything that you've learned, and see how you can actually take this information, go out there and start manually trading. So now you can see how you can use these indicators to enter into these trades. But the question is, when do you get out of these trades? So in the next section, we're going to talk about Fibonacci extension and how you can use Fibonacci extension to map out where your stop loss and where your take profit should be. So I'll see you in the next section. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Make sure you join our free Discord channel to get access to all the cheat sheets and a bunch of other cool bonuses. The next video in the course is right here.